And turning now to Decision 2010, one day after his apology to the gay community for his controversial comments, Carl Palladino has lost an endorsement. News 4's George Rickard is live from the Ellicott Square building in downtown Buffalo with more on this tonight. George? That's right. And today, for what it's worth, it was revealed that uh, Carl Palladino uh, had rented out space to two Buffalo gay clubs. Both uh, Buddies 2 and Cobalt were owned by Palladino uh, companies. Also, now this is being pointed out days after Palladino said to an Orthodox Jewish group in New York City that he, quote, didn't want his children brainwashed into thinking that homosexuality is an equally valid or successful option as getting married and raising a family. Yesterday, members of Buffalo's gay community protested those remarks. And this afternoon, the rabbi who invited him to speak in New York City in the first place is now pulling his endorsement of Palladino because Palladino apologized to the gay community. So he is taking heat from both sides of this issue now. Back live out in front of the Ellicott Square building, uh, you, right now you see another protest by about 30 to 40 people calling themselves embarrassed Buffalonians protesting Palladino's latest statements. On the other hand, when you make a fool of yourself, uh, as he has done, and shown that uh, you do not have the temperament to uh, be governor, then yes, I think the average person starts to say, well, I was looking at you, but now no. And there you see the protest just getting underway. Actually, it's supposed to start at about 5.15. They may have upwards of 100 protesters here tonight. The second day in a row of a protest at Ellicott Square building. Inside, it just so happens there is a Palladino fundraiser. And we'll